Do you know that God has designed us to need each other? None of us have been built to go through life alone. Chuck Swindoll, who is an author and a pastor, talks about meeting up with one of the hard-drinking Marines that he once used to run with. And this hard-drinking, once hard-drinking Marine now gave his life to Christ. And, and Chuck said, tell me about how your life is now that you've come to Christ. And he says, you know what, it's really a struggle for me now that I've come to Christ. He says, I remember how I used to go down to the bars and hang out with my buddies and we used to let our hair down and talk about our faults and failures. And we'd sit around and do that. And he says, I don't have any place to do that anymore. Now that I'm a Christian, I have no one that I can really talk to. I have no one that I can really confess my faults to, no one that I can really talk about my battles with. And he says, I don't have anyone in my life right now who won't frown at me or preach at me or quote me a verse. I need what I used to have at the bars. You know, God hasn't built us to go through life alone. In fact, God says, I want you to go through life together. I want you to encourage each other. I want you to support each other. I want you to bear one another's burdens as you go through life. You know, when we talk about getting into groups, well, we're not talking necessarily about sitting around and just going through Bible passages. Yes, that's a part of it. But it's also about encouraging each other and supporting each other and praying for each other. And one of my particularly favorite verses, it says, spur one another on to love and good deeds. Now, sometimes spurring one another on is, is a bit irritating. The, the word spur, in fact, means irritate. And so what it means is sometimes speaking truth and loving people and working through messy problems with each other is just that. And so do you have a place where you can go and where you can let your hair down and just be yourself, where you can be carried if you need to be carried, where you can be encouraged if you need to be encouraged, where you can be spurred on if you need to be spurred on, and where you can in turn do this for others. This is really what God is calling us to. You see, none of us can go through life alone. 